Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice square root math problem, which is the square root of 2 multiplying by square root of 2x plus 1 multiplying by square root of 2x plus 1. This is equal to 4. Now, what are the values of x? Let's prevent the solution from here. So the first thing to do here, we let u be equal to 2x plus 1. So let's substitute u in this square root equation. We have the square root of, this is 2 multiplying by square root of u, multiplying by square root of u, this is equal to 4. The next step from here, let's square both signs so that we can eliminate the square root sign. So let's start with the first square root sign. So by squaring, we are going to eliminate the first square root sign so that we have 2 multiplying by square root of u multiplying by square root of u. This is equal to 4 raised to the power of 2. Now, let's proceed again. Let's square again on both sides. So that now, here we have 2 to the power of 2 multiplying by square root of u raised to the power of 2. This means we eliminate the second square root sign. So we have multiplying by u multiplying by square root of u. This is equal to 4 to the power of 2 times 2. Remember this is in the form of a to the power of n raised to, to m which we can express as a raised to the power of n times m. So let's apply this exponent property from here. So we have 4 raised to the power of 2 times 2. So this implies we have 2 raised to the power of 2 which is equal to 4 times u multiplied by square root of u. This is equal to 4 raised to the power of 4. Now, let's proceed here. Again here, we are going to square both signs so that we eliminate the last square root sign. By squaring here, we are going to square all the values in this bracket here. So we have 4 squared times u squared times, now we eliminate the square root sign here, so times u. This is equal to 4 to the power of 4 times 2, this is equal to 8 from here. So we have that u raised to power 2 times u. Remember this is raised to power 1. This is in the form of a raised to the power of n times a raised to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n plus m. Applying this exponent property, then we have 4 raised to the power of 2 times u raised to the power of 2 plus 1, this is 3. This is equal to 4 to the power of 8. So let's divide both signs by 4 to the power of 2, here by 4 to the power of 2. So let's simplify here. So you have u to the power of 3. This is equal to 4 to the power of 8, divided by 4 to the power of 2. This is in the form of a to the power of n over a to the power of m which you can express as a raised to the power of n minus m. Applying this exponent property, we have u to the power of 3. This is equal to 4 raised to the power of 8 minus 2. So this is u to the power of 3. This is equal to 4 raised to the power of 8 minus 2, which is equal to 6. From here, we can express 4 as 2 to the power of 2, so that now we have u to the power of 3, this is equal to 2 raised to the power of 2, raised to the power of 6. So this implies here we have u to the power of 3, this is equal to 2 raised to the power of 6 times 2, this is equal to 12. Now, this is u to the power of 3, this is equal to 2 raised to the power of 12, we can express 12 as 4 times 3. So we have here 2 raised to the power of 4 times 3. 
Now this implies that we have u to the power of 3. This is equal to 2 raised to the power of 4 raised to the power 3. 2 to the power 4, this is equal to 16. So we have 16 raised to the power of 3. So the next step is to take 16 raised to the power of 3 on the left hand side. So that here we have u to the power of 3 minus 16 to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. Now, this is a this is the difference of two cubes expressed as a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, which we can express as a minus b. a squared plus a b plus b squared. So let's apply this identity from here. So we have u minus 16. Then here we have u squared plus 16u, then plus 16 squared which is 256, this is equal to 0. So we have two parts here. The first part is u minus 16, this is equal to 0. The second part here is u to the power of 2 plus 16 u plus 256, this is equal to 0. So we have that u1 from here, this is equal to 16. And if you recall, if you recall, we are saying that let u be equal to 2x plus 1. So this implies that 2x plus 1, this is equal to 16. So let's take 1 on the right hand side. So we have 2x is equal to 16 minus 1. And this implies that 2x is equal to 15. So let's divide both signs by 2 and here by 2. So that now x is equal to 15 divided by 2, which is 7.5. So this is the first value of x. This is x1 from here. So let's proceed to solve for the other values of u here. So this is a quadratic equation of the form au squared plus bu plus c, this is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 16, and c is equal to 256. Now we can solve for u2, comma u3 by applying the quadratic formula, that's minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, everything here, divided by 2 times a. So from here, let's substitute the values of a, b, and c. So we have minus 16 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 16 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 256. Everything here divided by 2 times 1. So this implies that here we have minus 16 plus or minus the square root of 16 squared. This is 256. Subtract 256 times 4. This is 1024. Everything here divided by 2. So this implies here we have minus 16, then plus or minus the square root of 256 minus 1024. This is equal to minus 768 divided by 2 from here. So this is minus 16 plus or minus the square root of minus 768. This can be expressed as we can express this as 256 times 3, then times minus 1, everything here divided by 2. So therefore here we have minus 16 plus or minus the square root. Now, we have that the square root of 256, this is equal to 16. Then square root of minus 1, this is i, then square root of 3. Everything here divided by 2. Now, 
from here we can two is common here we can factor out two so that into the parentheses here we have minus eight plus or minus eight i square root of three everything here divided by two so let's simplify here two and two simplifies Now we have u2, u3, this is minus 8 plus or minus 8i square root of 3. So u2 is equal to minus 8 plus 8i square root of 3. And u3 is equal to minus 8 minus 8i square root of 3. So let's solve for x2 and x3. If you recall, we are saying that let u be equal to 2x plus 1. So this implies that 2x plus 1, this is equal to u2, which is minus 8, plus 8i square root of 3. So let's take 1 on the right hand side. So this is 2x equal to minus 8, plus 8i square root of 3 subtract 1 from here now we have 2x is equal to minus 8 plus 8i square root of 3 minus 1 so minus 8 minus 1 this implies we have 2x is equal to minus 9 plus 8i square root of 3 so let's divide both signs by 2 from here so that now we have that x2 is equal to minus 9 plus 8i square root of 3 over 2. Now for x3 from here, we'll have 2x plus 1. This is equal to u3, which is minus 8. This is minus 8, minus 8i square root of 3. So let's take plus 1 on the right hand side, so that we have 2x is equal to minus 8, minus 8i square root of 3, subtract 1. So we have 2x, this is equal to minus 8 minus 1, this is minus 9, minus 8i square root of 3. Let's divide both signs by 2, so that now x3 is equal to minus 9, minus 8i square root of 3, over 2. So we have two complex solutions here. We have x2 and x3. These are two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions for this algebra problem. So this implies that we have only one real solution, which is x1, which is 7.5. So the next step from here is to verify that this x1 satisfies the equation. Now let's verify that x1, which is 7.5, satisfies the equation. Now if you recall from here, we have that the square root of 2 multiplied by square root of 2x plus 1 multiplied by square root of 2x plus 1. This should give us a value of 4. So let's substitute here the value of x so that we have square root of 2 times square root of x is 7.5. So we have 2 times 7.5 plus 1. Then multiplying by square root of, we have 2 times 7.5, then plus 1. This should give us a value of 4. So here we have square root of 2 times square root of 7.5 times 2 this is 15 plus 1 so this is 16 then multiplying by square root of again here we have 16 this should give us a value of 4 so here we have square root of 2 times square root of 16 here this is 4 and then we have square root of 16 here. Again, this is this is 4. And remember this is now. We have square root, square root of 4 from here. 
So this is supposed to give us a value of 4. So this implies that here we have the square root of 2 times 4 times square root of 4. This is equal to 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 4. So we have the square root of 4 times 2. This is 8 times 2. This is equal to 16. This should give us a value of 4. So this implies that square root of 16, this is 4, which is equal to 4. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that x1, which is 7.5, satisfies the equation. And this implies that we have three solutions to this algebra problem. We have two complex solutions and only one real solution. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. So x here is 7.5. And other two complex solutions. And two complex solutions. A total of three solutions. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video.